Well, we're back in the shop for another day, and uh, I just got my bumper bolted on for uh, somewhat good. As we saw last time, half of these uh, bolt holes on the bumper itself are torn right out, and I like to think that that was this scout pulling other vehicles out um, on the trail, but uh, no doubt this scout got very, very stuck on the trail a few times, I would assume, and people kind of yoinked on it and totally annihilated this poor bumper. So, went down to the hardware store and I just got uh, bolts that go all the way through because I didn't realize when I did that. There's a nice pocket back here, right there, that uh, I could have put four bolts on the bumper, two on each side, up top and bottom, but this works out fine. I just got long bolts, managed to get them in there, grabbed acorn nuts because I thought they'd be pretty spiffy looking. And over here, of course, the uh, the brazed on washer to fix that. Um, and then I also looked, and the license plate used to be mounted on the driver's side. So this is actually, the bumper's in the right orientation from the way it used to be. Not that it really matters, but I think it's kind of neat, so. So with the bumper bolted on and the heater fan working and a window put in the scout you know all this uh not very functional nonsense i figure it's time we start to to dive into important things so we're going to go ahead and rebuild this brake master cylinder went ahead and picked up this rebuild kit for it um as i recall this thing was in pretty good shape uh, i wire wheeled it all nice that's why it looks pretty nice now um i wire wheeled it a while back and it's just been sitting in my toolbox ever since. So we'll probably wire wheel it again. Of course, pop all the all the parts out of the back, put the new parts in, give it a, a hone before, of course. And then this thing should be good to go. And then we'll go onto the wheel cylinders and slowly work uh, part by part through the whole brake system until, in theory, the scout will start stopping. Alrighty, pulled the snap ring out and gave the old piston here a little bit of persuasion. Got it to uh, pop out of the back of the master cylinder. Of course, this is an old master cylinder and it had some rust right here in the end. So I had to scrape down a little bit of that and a little persuasion, some WD-40. Got the whole assembly out. Just like the old clutch slave cylinder, the rubber gasket here does not seem very brittle or bad. So I probably could have thrown this together and it probably would have worked just fine. But in the name of safety and whatnot... I went ahead and picked up the new kit. Comes with all of this stuff here. I like when I pull stuff like this apart, I lay it all out and then I lay the new parts alongside it. Double check that everything's more or less the same. Um, you can see the spring here. The new one's actually a little longer, but this one probably collapsed a little bit. So, and then little things like this rubber has this washer on the back of it. So I know where that guy goes. And then I have this guy, and I'm pretty sure the old one is still stuck way up in the front, so I gotta get a little pick and pull that guy out of there. But otherwise, everything seems to match up almost the same. So, with the exception of like that's laid down a little more, but I'm pretty sure there's no difference in the functionality. Otherwise, or you know, I'm sure it'll work just fine. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead. I need to pull that rubber washer, it should be up here out of this old master cylinder and then give this a good hone and then reassemble it all nice and uh, clean. Alrighty and then after a little bit of crafty work with the uh, pick here I was able to get this seal out of the front. It was a little stuck to the front of the master cylinder because well it's been in there for 50 years so yeah now we just gotta clean this guy out make it all nice and spiffy and then put all the new parts back in. I'll probably put all the new parts in the box here so I don't get any junk on them while they're sitting out, but I just wanted to lay it all out and make sure everything was the same and that it all lined up good. Alrighty. Got a good home skate in there. Looks a little dirty. I do need to clean it out a little more, but it's pretty clean except for the very end where the snap ring goes, but the piston doesn't travel on that, so it it's not going to seal, so I don't, I'm don't. i not worried about that at all. It's acceptable by my standards, so I'm going to clean this thing up a little more. Shoot it over with some brake clean so it's nice and shiny, and then we'll 
slip and slide everything up with brake fluid and slap it all back together. Alrighty, there you have it, all back together. So, of course, I know most of you are thinking when I said I was going to go put it back on the Scout, well, of course, yeah, it should be bench bled before I try and fully bleed my brakes, but it is going to take me probably a few weeks to get to all four brakes on the Scout. So, for the time being, I'm going to put this thing back on the Scout so it's out of my way. I know where it is, I know it's rebuilt, and I know it's ready to go. And then, because this is just the single pot master cylinder, when I go to bench bleed it, I can just bleed it on the Scout by sticking my hose right up there on the front and running it back into the reservoir. So I don't really have to worry about it. So, yeah, we're going to put this on the Scout, and then hopefully I can get to wheel cylinders next. Alrighty. Of course with the master cylinder done what's next to rebuild but the wheel cylinders going one by one with them here I have this rear one we just pulled this guy off last week and then our next one will be the second rear one I have to figure out how to get that broken bleeder out of there and then also figure out if I can buy a new bleeder for this and then we move on to the two front ones of course but we'll get there when we get there I kind of want to go up to the Red Scout, the Parts Scout, and see if I can't pull the ones off there because that doesn't really make me happy that the edges are broken on both front wheel cylinders. So we'll see what I can do about that, but for right now we're focusing on the rears. Got this one apart, gave it a quick hone, and it's turning out really nice, so that one will be pretty good. Got my rebuild kit and everything here, so yeah. Boy, let me tell you if that right there is not a sight for sore eyes. This is the rear wheel cylinder that had the broken bleeder in it. And I got it to spin out. I had uh, three or four different nuts I welded on trying to get it off. Torch preheating in between, getting this thing really hot. And then I just took it out and threw it in the snow. So it, it was a huge pain, but it finally screwed out. Threads look pretty good, so hopefully... I can find a replacement bleeder, and uh, that wheel cylinder will be good to go. Alrighty, and just like that, our old wheel cylinder should be good to go, with the exception, of course, of that bleeder that I need to find. But that would be the rear, so now I need to uh, mosey on up to the red parts scout and have a look at the front wheel cylinders and see if, uh, if I can't make those work on my... Well, it was probably a month ago that... Uh... I put this thing up on jack stands, took the wheels off, and I was getting ready to pull brake parts off of it for the other Scout. And, uh, well, as you can see, I never quite got to it. Brake drum on that side has a stuck flathead retaining screw in it that needs to come out. I brought my little tool bag, so... And then we need to snag the wheel cylinder. I'll probably just take everything off of both sides and then just have it all down at the shop. And of course, eventually those hubs need to come off and go on the uh, the Blue Scout down at the shop. So, anywho, I'm going to get to uh, shoveling this thing out. Back in action. Made it back from the Red Scout. Got my two wheel cylinders off of that. Already took them apart. Got them honed, ready to reassemble. And I grabbed myself a, uh, a little present. Just went ahead and yoinked these bad boys off. I had to pull the one to get the... Uh, I just took the whole hub assembly off because the brake drum was stuck on, so this worked out easier. I needed to pull the hubs off anyways, so here they are. I'm going to get them nice and cleaned up because I think they'd look pretty spiffy all cleaned up, and then we can get ready to put those on my Scout, and we can, at the same time, put the brakes back together, hopefully. Well, that was a solid few hours worth of work. We got all the wheel cylinders rebuilt. They all should be good to go. Now we're basically ready to go ahead and start reassembling the brakes. I know there's some hardware odds and ends I need to find still, but um, I'm not really going to be 100% on what I need until I start trying to put it together. But I got right there, a broken off bleeder. That's a glove box piece right there. Put stuff like that in your glove box and you'll always remember the absolute hell your project put you through. <laughs> 